Welcome to Tuckahoe. Today you will be taken through the operation of an M3A in Metro North Railroad livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the engineer. The master key is used to activate the control desk. The reverser determines the direction of travel. This unit has a combined throttle brake handle called a master controller, which needs to be set before beginning the startup procedure. In order to release the brakes, the brake pipe must be fully charged. You can only do this when the master controller is in the max brake position. Lights are important to let others know that this unit is operational. We will now need to open the doors to begin loading. This train features an onboard cab signaling system with five speed limits shown on the aspect display unit. R indicates a restricted speed with a 15 miles per hour speed limit. M indicates a medium speed with a 30 miles per hour speed limit. L indicates a limited speed with a 45 miles per hour speed limit. 60 indicates a 60 miles per hour speed limit. And N indicates that the speed limit is governed by the track speed, which is shown in the digital readout. We are now ready to depart for Bronxville and continue the service. Move the master controller into the power range to start moving. Before stopping at each station, you should sound the horn once on approach. Let's do this now.
Proceed to the next stop at Fleetwood. On the way, we will perform a recovery of the emergency brakes. An emergency brake has occurred, and the train is now coming to a stop. Wait for the train to come to a complete stop before attempting to recover the train. Now that the train has stopped, we can perform the necessary steps to recover the train. After an emergency stop, the brake pipe will have been completely discharged, preventing the brakes from being released. To recover the train, we will need to recharge the brake pipe. First, move the master controller into the max brake position. Next, we will need to charge the brake pipe to at least 90 psi. Ensure that you do not move the master controller whilst the brakes are charging. Nice job. Now we can continue to Fleetwood. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train.